Dead Space remake. Uh, all right, let's talk about the Dead Space remake. This game is a fantastic update of the classic survival horror game, bringing the terrifying experience to a new generation with modern graphics and gameplay improvements. You play as Isaac Clarke, an engineer sent to fix a massive spaceship called the USG Ishimura. But when he gets there, he finds the ship overrun with horrifying creatures called necromorphs. The story is all about survival as Isaac tries to find out what happened to the ship and its crew while also looking for his missing girlfriend. The remake stays true to the original game's story but adds new layers of detail that make it even more immersive. The graphics are top notch, making the Ishimura look more creepy and realistic than ever before. The lighting and sound design create a tense atmosphere that keeps you on edge the whole time. The gameplay is intense and scary, you have to use different tools and weapons to dismember the necromorphs because just shooting them isn't enough, the controls are smoother, and the combat feels more responsive, which makes fighting these monsters both challenging and satisfying. One of the best things about the Dead Space remake is how it keeps you hooked with its story. You find logs and messages from the crew that give you pieces of the story, making you feel more connected to what happened on the Ishimura. Isaac's personal quest to find Nicole adds an emotional layer to the horror. If you love horror games with a gripping story and lots of scares, the Dead Space remake is a game you'll never regret buying. It's a thrilling ride from start to finish, and it does a great job of bringing a classic game into the modern era. Get ready for some serious chills and heart-pounding moments. Hogwarts Legacy Alright, let's dive into Hogwarts Legacy. This game is a dream come true for Harry Potter fans. You get to explore the magical world of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a student and it's set in the 1800s long before Harry Potter's time. You start by creating your own character and getting sorted into one of the four Hogwarts houses. The story revolves around your character discovering ancient magic and uncovering hidden secrets about the wizarding world. Along the way, you attend classes, learn spells, brew potions, and make friends and enemies. The game does an amazing job of bringing bringing Hogwarts to life. The castle is huge and full of hidden passages, magical creatures, and detailed rooms. You can explore famous places like the Great Hall, the Forbidden Forest, and Hogsmeade Village. The attention to detail makes the world feel real and immersive. The gameplay is a mix of adventure and magic and exploration. You'll face challenges that require you to use your spells, creatively solve puzzles, and battle dark creatures. The combat system is fun and lets you use a variety of spells to defeat enemies. One of the best parts is the sense of being a student at Hogwarts. You attend classes like Defense against the dark arts and herbology, where you learn new skills and spells. These lessons are interactive and help you feel like you're really part of the wizarding world. Um, Hogwarts Legacy also has a great story with interesting characters and choices that affect how the game unfolds. Your decisions can lead to different outcomes, making each playthrough unique. If you've ever wanted to live out your own magical adventure at Hogwarts, this game is perfect for you. Hogwarts Legacy offers a rich and immersive experience that captures the magic of the Harry Potter universe. It's a game you'll never regret buying whether you're a longtime fan or new to the wizarding world. Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Alright, let's talk about Star Wars Jedi Survivor. This game is a must play for any Star Wars fan. You step into the shoes of Cal Kestis, a Jedi trying to survive after the fall of the Jedi Order. The story picks up where the last game left off. Cal is on the run from the Empire, and he's searching for a safe place for himself and his friends. The narrative is filled with thrilling moments, unexpected twists, and deep character development. You really get to see Cal grow and struggle with his responsibilities as a Jedi. The game looks absolutely stunning. The worlds you visit are beautifully designed with lots of detail and atmosphere. Each planet has its own unique look and feel, from lush forests to barren deserts. The graphics make you feel like you're really in the Star Wars universe. The gameplay is a mix of exploration, puzzle solving, and combat. The lightsaber battles are intense and satisfying, with lots of moves and abilities to master. You also use the force in creative ways to overcome obstacles and defeat enemies. Exploring the different planets is a big part of the fun, as you uncover secrets and find hidden treasures. One of the highlights of Jedi Survivor is its story. The game does a a great job of making you care about the characters and their journey. There are emotional moments, big battles, and plenty of Star Wars lore to enjoy. The voice acting and cutscenes are top notch, bringing the story to life in an engaging Finally way. Found somewhere the Empire can't reach us. 
Gun Eye Survivor also offers plenty of customization. You can change Cal's appearance, upgrade his skills, and even modify your lightsaber. This adds a personal touch to your adventure and makes it feel unique. If you're a fan of action adventure games and love Star Wars, Jedi Survivor is a game you'll never regret buying. It combines a gripping story, exciting gameplay, and a beautifully crafted world. Whether you're fighting off stormtroopers or exploring ancient ruins, this game offers an unforgettable journey through the Star Wars galaxy. Valve Portal. You did it. Next up, let's dive into Portal, a game that's as clever as it is fun. This puzzle platformer from Valve puts you in the shoes of Chell, a test subject in the mysterious Aperture Science Laboratories. The story starts with you waking up in a strange, high-tech facility. You're guided by a robotic voice, GLaDOS, who promises you cake if you complete a series of tests. But as you progress, you realize there's more to these tests than meets the eye, and GLaDOS might not be entirely honest. What makes Portal stand out is its unique gameplay. You use the Portal Gun, a device that creates two connected portals on flat surfaces. Walking through one portal instantly takes you to the other. This simple mechanic leads to some incredibly creative and mind-bending puzzles. You have to think outside the box to solve them using physics, momentum, and clever positioning. The game's writing is brilliant. GLaDOS is dry. Sarcastic humor adds a lot of personality to the game. Her comments are often funny and unsettling at the same time, making her one of the most memorable characters in gaming? Please, Portal's world is sleek and minimalist, with clean, white test chambers that gradually become more dilapidated as you uncover the facility's secrets. The atmosphere is eerie yet intriguing, drawing you deeper into the mystery of aperture science. Despite being relatively short, Portal leaves a lasting impression, the puzzles are challenging but fair, and the story unfolds in a way that keeps you hooked until the end. The final sequence, in particular, is a thrilling and satisfying conclusion to your adventure. If you're looking for a game that combines innovative gameplay with a captivating story and sharp humor, Portal is a perfect choice. It's a game you'll never regret buying, offering a unique and rewarding experience that stands the test of time. Mass Effect Legendary Edition Let's dive into the Mass Effect Legendary Edition, a collection that brings together one of the best sci-fi RPG trilogies ever made. This edition includes Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, all remastered with improved graphics and smoother gameplay. You play as Commander Shepard, a customizable hero who can be male or female. The story spans across three games and revolves around the threat of the Reapers, a powerful race of machines bent on wiping out all advanced life in the galaxy. Shepard's mission is to unite various alien species and fight against this impending doom. What makes Mass Effect legendary is its story and characters. Each game is filled with deep, engaging narratives where your choices matter. The decisions you make in one game carry over to the next, affecting the story and relationships with other characters. This gives you a unique, personalized experience. The characters are incredibly well-written and memorable. From the loyal Garrus and Fierce Rex to the mysterious Lyra and strong Will Tally, each companion has their own backstory and personality. Your interactions with them can lead to friendships, romances, or rivalries, adding depth to the story. The remastered graphics make the rich, detailed universe even more stunning. The alien worlds, space stations, and starships look amazing, with improved textures, lighting, and visual effects. This brings new life to the epic space adventure. The gameplay across the trilogy has been polished for a better experience. Combat is more fluid and controls are more responsive, especially in the first game, which had the most improvements. You can use a mix of biotic powers, tech abilities, and traditional firearms to defeat your enemies. Each game also offers different gameplay mechanics and improvements, keeping the experience fresh throughout the trilogy. One of the best things about the Legendary Edition is how it includes almost all DLC content from the original games. This means you get extra missions, characters, and storylines, adding even more depth and value to your playthrough. Mass Effect Legendary Edition is a must-have for any sci-fi or RPG fan. The epic story, beloved characters, and improved visuals and gameplay make it a collection you'll never regret buying. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to the series, this trilogy offers an unforgettable journey through the galaxy. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Oh no, they're 
already here. Let's talk about Rise of the Tomb Raider. Released in 2015, this game really raised the bar for action adventure games with its amazing storytelling, jaw-dropping visuals, and smooth gameplay. In Rise of the Tomb Raider, you follow Lara Croft on a quest to find the lost city of Kaidish and uncover the secret of immortality. The story is gripping and personal, diving deep into Lara's journey as an explorer and her battle against the sinister organization Trinity. I was hooked from the start, especially with all the historical and mythical elements woven into the plot. One thing that blew me away was the game's visuals. The environments are stunningly detailed from the icy Siberian landscapes to lush forests and ancient tombs. The dynamic weather and realistic lighting made every scene come alive. I often found myself just standing around, taking in the breathtaking views. Lara herself is beautifully animated, with expressive features that make the story even more engaging. The gameplay is a perfect mix of exploration, combat, and puzzle solving. The tombs and crypts are some of my favorite parts. They're filled with challenging puzzles that make you think and use the environment to your advantage. Solving these puzzles felt incredibly satisfying, like being a real adventurer uncovering hidden secrets. Combat is smooth and fun. You can go stealthy with a bow and silent takedowns or go all out with guns blazing. I love the flexibility in approaching different situations. The crafting system adds a cool layer of strategy too. You can make your own ammo, traps, and other gadgets from materials you find. It's a bit like survival mode and it kept me constantly on my toes. Exploration in this game is deeply rewarding. There are so many hidden collectibles, side missions, and pieces of lore to find. I spent hours just roaming around discovering new things and learning more about the world. The semi-open world design is perfect. It encourages you to go back and explore previously visited areas with new tools and abilities to find every secret. The skill tree system is another great feature. You can customize Lara's abilities to fit your playstyle. Whether you're into stealth, combat, or exploration, there's a way to tailor Lara's skills to match. This made me want to replay the game and try out different builds. If you love action-adventure games with a strong focus on exploration, and puzzles, Rise of the Tomb Raider is a must-play. The visuals are stunning, the story is captivating, and the gameplay is top-notch. Plague Tale Requiem now, let's talk about Plague Tale Requiem. This game is an emotional and gripping adventure. You play as Amicia and her little brother Hugo, trying to survive in a world full of danger and plague. The story is really powerful. Amicia and Hugo are looking for a safe place to live, but they face many challenges. Hugo has a special power, and they have to find a way to control it while avoiding enemies and swarms of rats. The bond between the siblings is the heart of the story, and you really care about what happens to them. What's happening to me, Lucas? I feel my mind going the game looks amazing with beautiful and detailed environments. You travel through villages, forests, and ruins, each place filled with atmosphere and danger. The graphics make you feel like you're really there with Amisha and Hugo. The gameplay is all about sneaking around and solving puzzles. You have to be smart and use the environment to your advantage. Sometimes you'll need to distract guards, other times you'll need to find a safe path through rat-infested areas. Plague Tale Requiem also has moments of intense action and suspense. The mix of quiet, tense moments and dramatic escapes keeps the game exciting from start to finish. This game is a journey you won't forget. The story, the characters, and the beautiful yet dangerous world make it a game you'll never regret buying. If you enjoy deep, emotional stories with a touch of adventure, Plague Tale Requiem is a must-play. Batman Arkham Knight Next up on our list of 15 single-player games very ahead of their time is Batman Arkham Knight. This game, released in 2015, brought a new level of polish and depth to superhero games, and it's one that left a lasting impression on me. In Batman Arkham Knight, you take on the role of the Dark Knight as he faces a new threat to Gotham City from the Scarecrow and the mysterious Arkham Knight. The story is intense and filled with twists and turns that keep you hooked from start to finish. As a huge Batman fan, seeing all the iconic villains and allies brought to life was a real treat. The graphics in Arkham Knight are phenomenal. Gotham City looks dark, gritty, and alive with incredible detail. The rain-soaked streets, the neon lights, and the shadows all add to the atmospheric feel of the game. I often found myself gliding from building to building, just taking in the breathtaking views of the city from above. 
Gameplay-wise, Arkham Knight is top-notch. The combat system, known as Free Flow, is fluid and responsive, allowing you to take on multiple enemies with a mix of punches, kicks, and gadgets. It's easy to pick up, but has enough depth to keep you mastering new moves and combos throughout the game. The stealth sections, where you use Batman's gadgets to take down foes quietly, are equally satisfying. One of the game's standout features is the Batmobile. For the first time in the series, you can drive Batman's iconic vehicle around Gotham. It's not just for transportation either, the Batmobile is equipped with weapons and can transform into a tank mode for intense combat situations. I had a blast chasing down criminals, solving puzzles, and battling drones in this versatile vehicle. The game's narrative is engaging and well written. The interactions between Batman and his allies, as well as his enemies, are filled with tension and emotion. The voice acting, particularly from Kevin Conroy as Batman and Mark Hamill as the Joker, is superb and adds a lot to the overall experience. Arkham Knight also excels in its side mission. There are plenty of things to do in Gotham. From stopping street crimes and rescuing hostages to solving the Riddler's challenging puzzles, these side missions are varied and fun, adding hours of gameplay and helping to flesh out the world. The attention to detail is another aspect where the game shines, from the detailed character models to the rich lore scattered throughout the city, everything is meticulously crafted to create an immersive Batman experience. The inclusion of iconic locations and references to Batman's extensive history made exploring the game a joy. If you're a fan of superhero games or just love a well-crafted action adventure, Batman Arkham Knight is a game you shouldn't overlook. Its combination of stunning visuals, engaging story, and polished gameplay make it a standout title that was truly ahead of its time. Step into the cape and cowl of the Dark Knight and take on Gotham's greatest threats in this epic conclusion to the Arkham series. Dying Light Dying Light. Released in 2015, this game combined parkour, survival, and horror elements to create a unique and thrilling experience that set it apart from other zombie games. In Dying Light, you play as Kyle Crane, an undercover operative sent into the quarantined city of Heron to retrieve a sensitive file. The city is overrun by zombies and your mission quickly turns into a fight for survival. The story is engaging with plenty of twists and turns that keep you invested in Crane's journey. What truly set Dying Light apart was its parkour system. The game allowed you to traverse the city with fluid, realistic movement. You could climb buildings, jump across rooftops, and navigate the environment with agility. This added a new layer of strategy to the gameplay, as you could use your parkour skills to escape from hordes of zombies or find better vantage points for combat. The combat system was another highlight. Dying Light featured a wide variety of melee weapons that you could use to take down zombies and human enemies. The combat was visceral and satisfying with a focus on close quarters combat. You could also craft and upgrade weapons, adding elements like electricity or fire to make them more effective. The day-night cycle in Dying Light added an extra layer of tension to the game. During the day, zombies were relatively slow and manageable. But at night, more dangerous and aggressive zombies, known as volatiles, roamed the streets. Nighttime was terrifying and required you to be extra cautious and strategic. The difference in gameplay between day and night kept the experience fresh and exciting. Exploration was deeply rewarding in Dying Light. The city of Heron was filled with hidden loot, side quests, and safe zones to discover. Scavenging for supplies and finding new weapons and blueprints was essential for survival. The detailed and atmospheric world design made exploration a joy even when you were constantly on edge. If you're a fan of survival horror games with innovative mechanics and a strong emphasis on movement and exploration, Dying Light is a game you shouldn't overlook. Its combination of parkour, visceral combat, and a dynamic day-night cycle made it a standout title that was truly ahead of its time. Bully. Thanks for making my day better. Alright, let's talk about Bully, a game that's an absolute riot and perfect for anyone who just wants to have a good time. 
This one takes the classic Rockstar open world formula and throws it into the chaotic world of high school. You play as Jimmy Hopkins, a troublemaker sent to Bullworth Academy, which is basically a boarding school filled with all sorts of crazy characters. The story is a hilarious mix of teenage drama and rebellion, with Jimmy trying to navigate school life, deal with bullies, and become the king of the campus. What makes Bully so much fun is its variety of activities. You're not just stuck in classes though, even those are surprisingly entertaining mini-games. You can pull pranks, ride your skateboard around town, and get into all sorts of mischief. Um, there's never a dull moment because there's always something fun to do. The combat is simple but satisfying. You'll be throwing punches, using slingshots, and even engaging in some epic snowball fights. It's all very lighthearted and doesn't take itself too seriously, which fits the game's overall vibe perfectly. One of the highlights of Bully is its humor. The game is packed with witty dialogue and funny scenarios that keep you laughing. The characters are exaggerated but endearing, from the nerds to the jocks, and everyone in between. It's like playing through your favorite high school comedy movie. The open world is surprisingly detailed for a game set in a school. You can explore the town, visit shops, take on side missions, and even find hidden collectibles. The setting is nostalgic and full of charm, making it a blast to explore. Bully is all about having fun and causing a bit of mayhem. It's a game that doesn't take itself too seriously and invites you to do the same. Whether you're attending a class or pulling off a hilarious prank, there's always something enjoyable to do. If you're looking for a game that's lighthearted, engaging, and filled with endless fun, Bully is a perfect choice. Dive into the wild world of Bullworth Academy and enjoy the ride, it's one you won't forget. Infamous Second Son Alright, let's talk about Infamous Second Son, a game that lets you unleash superpowers in the most exhilarating way possible. If you love action-packed gameplay and a vibrant open world, this game is a blast. You play as Delson Rowe, a young guy who discovers he has incredible powers after an encounter with a superhuman. The story follows Delson as he navigates the city of Seattle, taking on the oppressive department of Unified Protection DUP and discovering the full extent of his abilities. What makes Infamous Second Son so much fun is the superpowers. Delson can absorb powers from other superhumans, giving you a variety of abilities to play with. From smoke and neon to video and concrete, each power set feels unique and offers different ways to approach combat and traversal, blasting enemies with smoke bombs, dashing through vents, and scaling buildings with neon speed never gets old. The combat is dynamic and satisfying. You can mix and match your powers to create devastating combos and take down enemies in style. The game encourages you to be creative, and the more you experiment with your abilities, the more fun you'll have. The powers are flashy and make you feel truly powerful. Seattle is beautifully recreated in Infamous Second Son. The city is alive with detail from the bustling streets to the iconic landmarks. The open world is a playground for your powers and exploring it is a joy. There are plenty of side activities including taking down duck strongholds, finding hidden collectibles, and graffiti tagging all of which add to the fun and immersion. One of the coolest aspects of the game is the morality system. Your choices affect the story and how people in the city react to you. Whether you choose to be a hero or embrace your darker side, your decisions have real consequences, adding depth to the gameplay. Visually, Infamous Second Son is stunning. The graphics are top-notch with detailed character models and vibrant effects that make your powers look incredible. The game's lighting and weather effects also add to the atmosphere, making Seattle feel like a real living city. Infamous Second Son is a game that's all about having fun with superpowers. It combines an engaging story, a lively open world, and dynamic gameplay to create an experience that's both thrilling and enjoyable. If you're looking for a game where you can let loose and feel like a superhero or anti-hero, Infamous Second Son is a perfect choice. Dive into the action and enjoy the ride. Doom Eternal. Alright, let's talk about Doom Eternal, a game that's all about pure, unadulterated fun. If you love fast-paced action, intense combat, and ripping through demons, this game is an absolute blast. 
You step into the boots of the Doomslayer, humanity's last hope against the demonic forces of hell. The story is straightforward but engaging, full of heavy metal lore and badass moments that keep you pumped up and ready for battle. What makes Doom Eternal so much fun is its relentless pace. The combat is incredibly fast and fluid, requiring you to be constantly on the move. You've got an arsenal of devastating weapons at your disposal, from the classic shotgun and chainsaw to more futuristic firepower like the plasma rifle and BF. G. Each weapon feels powerful and satisfying to use. The gameplay is all about aggression. You're encouraged to get up close and personal with the demons, using a combination of shooting, melee attacks, and glory kills to take them down. Glory kills in particular are a blast, they're brutal, over-the-top finishing moves that reward you with health and ammo, keeping you in the fight. Traversal in Doom Eternal is a game changer. The game introduces new movement mechanics like double jumps and dashes, which make navigating the battlefield a dynamic and strategic affair. You're not just running and gunning, you're leaping across platforms, swinging from bars, and dodging enemy attacks in a deadly dance of destruction. Doom Eternal also features a variety of challenges and collectibles that add to the fun. There are secret areas to discover, lore to uncover, and upgrades to find that enhance your abilities and weapons. These extras give you plenty of reasons to explore each level thoroughly. In summary, Doom Eternal Eternal is all about having fun with non-stop action and adrenaline pumping combat. It's a game that never lets up, keeping you engaged and excited from start to finish. If you're looking for a game that delivers pure, visceral enjoyment, Doom Eternal is a must play. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance Alright, let's talk about Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, a game that's all about insane action, slicing up cyborgs, and just having a blast. If you're into over-the-top combat and a bit of craziness, this game is perfect for you. You play as Raiden, the badass cyborg ninja. Forget about sneaking around like in other Metal Gear games, this one's all about going full throttle with your high frequency blade. The story is wild, filled with crazy villains and ridiculous plot twists that only add to the fun. The combat in Metal Gear Rising is where it really shines. You've got this katana that can slice through pretty much anything, and I mean anything. The game's blade mode lets you slow down time and cut enemies into tiny pieces. It's stupidly fun and never gets old. You feel like an absolute beast carving through enemies with style and precision. And the bosses, man, they're larger than life characters with some of the most memorable fights you'll ever play. Each one is unique, requiring you to adapt and master your skills. Plus the epic music that kicks in during these battles, absolute perfection. It gets your blood pumping and makes every fight feel epic. The visuals are slick and stylish with a futuristic vibe that's both gritty and cool. The environments might not be the most detailed, but who cares when you're zipping around at lightning speed and chopping up anything in your path. What's great about Metal Gear Rising is it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's packed with cheesy one-liners, over-the-top action sequences, and a sense of humor that keeps things light. The game knows it's ridiculous and just rolls with it, making the whole experience even more enjoyable. You've also got plenty of upgrades and new moves to unlock, keeping the gameplay fresh as you progress. Experimenting with different techniques and weapons is a blast, and it keeps you coming back for more. One of the coolest things is the game's length. It's not too long, so it doesn't overstay its welcome. You can blast through it in a weekend, but it's so damn fun you'll want to replay it and try out new things. In summary, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is all about having a damn good time. It's fast, flashy and doesn't hold back. If you're looking for a game that's all action all the time, with a heavy dose of style and a pinch of insanity, this is it. Prototype. All right, let's get into Prototype, a game that's all about chaos, destruction, and feeling like an unstoppable force of nature. If you've ever wanted to wreak havoc in a massive open world city, this game is for you. You play as Alex Mercer, a dude who wakes up in New York City with no memory and some seriously badass powers. We're talking shape-shifting, super strength, 
and the ability to consume enemies to gain their memories and abilities. The story is a wild ride, with Alex trying to uncover the truth about what happened to him while taking down anyone who gets in his way. The gameplay in Prototype is where it's at, you can run up skyscrapers, glide through the air, and smash through anything that stands in your way. The city is your playground, and you've got an insane arsenal of powers to play with. Want to rip through enemies with giant claws? Go for it. Prefer smashing tanks with your massive fists? You can do that too. The combat is brutal and satisfying, letting you unleash your inner beast. One of the coolest features is the ability to consume people and take on their appearance and memories. This adds a strategic layer to the mayhem, letting you infiltrate enemy bases and gather intel while looking like an innocent bystander. It's a blast figuring out how to use your powers to cause maximum chaos. The story might not be the most complex, but who cares? It's all about the action and the insane powers you get to wield. Plus, the side missions and challenges add plenty of extra fun. You can spend hours just exploring the city, causing destruction and experimenting with your abilities. And let's not forget the upgrades. As you progress, you can level up and unlock new powers, making Alex even more of a badass. It keeps the gameplay fresh and gives you a reason to keep playing and mastering your skills. Prototype is a game that's all about letting loose and having a blast, it's fast, it's furious, and it's ridiculously fun. If you're looking for a game where you can just go wild and feel like an unstoppable force, this is it. Devil May Cry 5. Alright, let's talk about Devil May Cry 5. A game that's all about stylish combat, insane action, and having a damn good time. If you love flashy moves and over-the-top battles, this game is an absolute blast. You play as three different characters, Dante, Nero, and the mysterious newcomer, V. Each one has their own unique fighting style and abilities, keeping the gameplay fresh and exciting. The story is a wild ride full of demons, epic showdowns, and plenty of that classic Devil May Cry flair. The combat in Devil May Cry 5 is where it really shines. It's fast, fluid, and all about looking cool while you kick demon ass. You've got a ton of moves and combos to master, and the game rewards you for being creative and stylish. Whether you're slicing through enemies with Dante's sword, revving up Nero's Red Queen, or summoning creatures with V, every fight feels badass. You're dead. Visually, the game is stunning. The graphics are top-notch with beautifully detailed environments and character models. The animations are smooth as hell, making every move and combo look incredible. The game's aesthetic is a perfect mix of gothic and modern, giving it a unique and striking look. One of the best parts is the soundtrack. The music is a perfect match for the high energy action with heavy metal tracks that get your blood pumping. Each character has their own theme that kicks in when you start racking up those stylish combos, making you feel like a total rock star. Devil May Cry 5 also has a ton of replay value. There are multiple difficulty levels, secret missions, and a ranking system that challenges you to perfect your skills. You'll want to go back and replay missions to get higher scores and unlock new abilities, keeping you hooked for hours on end. The game's controls are tight and responsive, making it easy to pull off those sick combos and maneuvers. It's challenging but fair, rewarding you for mastering the mechanics and pushing you to improve. Overall, Devil May Cry 5 is all about having fun and feeling like a total badass. It's a perfect blend of stylish combat, epic action, and cool characters. If you're looking for a game that lets you unleash your inner demon hunter and have a blast while doing it, Devil May Cry 5 is the way to go. Kingdom Come Deliverance all you need to know is that this one is based on medieval-style immersive RPG. I'm mentioning every pinnacle immersive game about different settings, so if you're in a mood for some medieval fun, then Kingdom Come is right up your alley. This will be the best time to play the original part, as the sequel was just recently announced. I know that some of us have heard about this game but never actually played it. So to put it briefly, it's a lengthy first-person RPG game, and a combination of history and simulation. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? That oh, was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where does Kingdom Come is a really different RPG that is mostly about knowing about history with a deep accuracy. 
I believe the developers actually hired someone with a deep historical perspective to provide an accurate in-depth experience. Honestly, this is one of those games that I'm not a big fan of as I really love some great action combat monster slayings weapons in RPG games. However, if you're someone who is a fan of an amazing storyline with historical elements and a realistic experience, then no doubt the game is for you. I'm just saying that please don't expect a great deal of action as the game is more focused on providing the players with a realistic historical simulation experience. you will be amazed to see how everything is constructed and how cities or specific areas are designed. It's a really cool looking game that is all about lords and nobles rather than monsters and dragons. I think it's great to take a break from all the action and focus on something more in depth and realistic. Nevertheless, if you can be patient and see different aspects then the game will surely reward you with amazing content. Let's hope the sequel is also something that will be played for decades to come. Mafia Definitive Edition. Alright, let's talk about Mafia Definitive Edition. You gotta play this game before you die. Made by Hangar 13 and released in 2020. This game is all about 1930s gangsters. You play as Tommy Angelo, a cab driver who gets mixed up with the mob. Imagine driving through a city that looks like an old gangster movie. The graphics are amazing and the city feels alive. It's fun just driving around and checking things out. The story is like living in a mob movie. You start with small jobs for the Salieri crime family, but things get intense fast. The characters are great and you really get to know Tommy. The voice acting and cutscenes are awesome and pull you right into the story. The gameplay has driving, shooting, and some stealth. The missions are different and keep you interested. Fighting is simple and fun and driving the old cars is a blast, even if they're a bit hard to handle. What I love about Mafia Definitive Edition is how it feels like the 1930s. The music, the clothes, the atmosphere, it's all spot on. It's a game that takes you back in time and makes you feel like you're in the story. For me, playing Mafia Definitive Edition is like being in a gangster movie. The story is great, the world is cool, and it's just fun to play. It's a game you'll remember long after you finish it. If you haven't played Mafia Definitive Edition yet, you're missing out. It's a must play for anyone who loves a good story and wants to dive into the world of classic mobsters. Your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money. <laughs> Go get him, Tommy! Bioshock Infinite. Alright, let's talk about Bioshock Infinite, a game you really should play before you die. Made by Irrational Games and released in 2013, this game is an absolute mind-bender. You play as Booker DeWitt, a private investigator with a dark past who's sent to the floating city of Columbia to rescue a mysterious girl named Elizabeth. Imagine stepping into a city in the sky, with beautiful buildings and streets that look like they're straight out of an early 1900s postcard. The visuals are stunning, and the world feels a alive and strange in the best way possible. You can spend hours just soaking in the details from the bright, cheerful streets to the darker, more twisted areas. The story is where Bioshock Infinite really gets you. It's deep, complex, and filled with twists that'll keep you guessing until the very end. Booker's journey with Elizabeth is both heartwarming and heartbreaking. Elizabeth is one of the best AI companions I've ever seen in a game. She's smart, capable, and adds so much to the story and gameplay. Speaking of gameplay, it's a blast. You've got all these cool powers called Vigors that let you do things like shoot fire or control crows combined with a variety of guns. The combat is fast paced and fun, and using the skylines to zip around during fights is just awesome. It feels fresh and keeps you on your toes. What I love about Bioshock Infinite is how it blends action with a deep, thought-provoking story. The themes of reality, choice, and consequence are handled so well. It's not just a game, it's an experience that makes you think long after you've finished it. For me, playing Bioshock Infinite was like diving into a thrilling, emotional roller coaster. The story gripped me from start to finish, the characters felt real, and the world was breathtaking. It's one of those games that leaves a mark on you.